Stop recording video button. Hi guys, so I just wanted to do this video really quick um, about. This is basically going to be me, like, uh, more like a rant video. Um, so, you guys tell me if this makes sense. So, I have a subscriber, or not, someone who is sub I subscribe to on YouTube. One of those, uh, YouTube mothers. And I'm not going to say who it is in case this person finds this video, but I don't, but, um, this person says that first she said she was going to do Veda, which is a vlog every day in April. She was on Twitter. She was like, oh, you know, it's I have some fun ideas for Veda. Um, and a vlog is basically like a video, like a blog, like a journal, but it's a video log. So instead of writing, you're just doing video of everything, of what you're doing. So if that makes sense. So, yeah. So, um, she said, oh, I'm going to do Veda, her video every day of April, and there was only two. She only did two videos in April out of 30. And she just didn't really explain to anybody what was going on. She didn't communicate with, with us. And then she said she was going to start this series on her channel, which and, um, every Monday she was going to be doing like a talk Monday, kind of like what I do with like the story time and the talk Tuesdays and Thursdays, whatever. It's kind of like that. Like she said she'd be answering any questions we have and telling, maybe telling a story, giving a life update, whatever. So I, I just, so one zero faces. She has, she did that once. She, um, well, actually, she, yeah, she did a story time video once, and then she was going to do a question and answer video, and that never went up. Well, she actually deleted it by mistake and never reposted it. And then there was just a lot of stuff going on where, where she just, um, because I follow her on Twitter, so I know, like, she's moving and she's just going through some stuff. But she's not coming on YouTube and explaining to us what's going on. When she said, she's like, she uh, actually made a video a few months ago saying that she wanted to become more interactive with her subscribers. Now, you guys tell me how disappearing from YouTube for two months is interacting with your subscribers. That's actually going to cost you subscribers. That's not going to make you gain subscribers. That's going to make you cost subscribers. So, yeah, tell me if that makes sense. Um, I just, I, I, don't, I don't think it does, because the thing is, like, and then I was, like, going on Twitter, because she kept, like, tweeting stuff, she's like, oh, your video should be up this week, and that was, like, three weeks ago, and there was no video, and then she said recently, like, I was asking, oh, when are you going to be posting again, and she was like, oh, well, it should be up tomorrow, and that was at the end of May, and now it's the beginning of June and every day I was like okay it's June 1st still no video it's June 2nd still no video and saying well you're not interacting with your subscribers like you said you wanted to and I was being rude and she blocked me and I guess I can't blame her because you know I was being rude but it's her fault that I'm being rude because if she was posting videos and being consistent with them I wouldn't constantly be rude I mean, I understand people have lives outside of YouTube, but communicate with people. Like, tell people what's going on. Like, with you guys, I I told you guys, like, I might not be able to post consistently because of school. I told you guys what's going on. So, if you know that if I disappear for a while, it's nothing against you guys. It's not that I don't want to post because, believe me, I do. It's just that, you know, school comes first and YouTube is like at the bottom of my list when it comes to school. And But I explained that to you guys. If you watched my, um, you know, my heads up video when I said I was giving you a heads up of, about something, I explained that to you guys that if I'm not consistently posting, then I'm not just disappearing out of the blue. 
there's a good reason for it. So I, I communicate with my subscribers. I mean, I only have seven. This person has like thousands. Even, even though, even me having seven subscribers, it's just common sense that interacting with your subscribers is not <laughs> disappearing for three months. That's not how you interact with your subscribers. I mean, like I said, that's going to cost you subscribers. I mean, I'm not going to unsubscribe, but other people are probably going to. So, yeah, I, I just, I mean, I like people, I know a lot of people are like rude, leave negative comments on YouTube. Now, the thing with me is if I, if you're like, rude to me on YouTube, like say I disappear from YouTube and like you're being rude to me, I'll just be like, look, um, I did a video explaining it. I've just been busy with school. I do want to post, believe me, but I don't appreciate you being rude, but I wouldn't block you. Like in order for me to block you guys, well, first of all, I don't know how to do it, but I'm sure that's very easy to figure out. But in order for me to block you guys, it would take a lot. <laughs> it would take a lot for me to block you, but it's not, you just leaving a rude comment, that's not enough for me to block you because, you know, the, my, the way I think about it is like saying, oh, I'm going to block you. I'm going to block you. That's something that 10 year olds do. And I don't want to treat you guys like 10 year olds. So if you're just like rude to me, I would understand like why you're upset because like, oh, I owe you a video. I promised you guys a video and I didn't follow through. I went back on my word. So I could, I would like understand why you're upset. So maybe what I would do is I would be like, okay, I, I can understand you're upset. I know I said I would post, but time just got ahead of me and it's not that I don't want to, but you know, I'll post a video sometime this week. So I would just like respond nicely because I just, like I said, I don't, I just think blocking is like, I mean, sometimes, I mean, don't get me wrong. You, you have to block people if they're like harassing you or something, but leaving me a rude comments, I mean, yes, yeah, I wouldn't appreciate it, but I don't think that's like harassment or anything like that. Like I I would just, like I said, I would just respond nicely. And in order, like I said, <laughs> in order for me to block you, it would take a lot. So, yeah. But I'm hoping that you guys would want to watch my videos and you would, you like my videos too much. To find out what you would have to do in order for me to block you. Because like I said, it would take a lot. I wouldn't block you that easily like some people would. But yeah. Um, let's see. I'm going to go. I'm going to end this video now and I'm going to get this up for you guys and I will talk to you all later. Okay. Bye guys.